Still recovering from their surgeries, Kristen Renker and Christopher Jones have to take it easy. So while they build up their strength, together they build puzzles. Christopher now has one of Kristen's kidneys, which she gladly gave to him, but with reservations for herself. My father had high blood pressure. He recently passed a couple years ago. My mother has high blood pressure, and uh, it's pretty much all I know of, but I hear it runs through the family. Doctors know that genetics alone could put Kristen at a greater risk for high blood pressure. What's not as certain is how much her risk has gone up because she's a donor. We do know from retrospective and small scale studies that about 30% of donors will develop um, high blood pressure. But Dr. Todd Pesavento at Ohio State University Medical Center isn't convinced those numbers are certain. He says not only did those previous studies look at a small number of donors, but they were all retrospective, meaning they were only done after the surgery. So he's part of a new study involving a handful of hospitals across the country that will do it differently. There have been very few prospective studies to ensure that uh, donors remain with normal kidney function. So we'll look at a, a total of 200 pairs of patients and we'll study their kidney function very carefully. And unlike the other studies, this one will last at least three years. With 70,000 people waiting for a new kidney, Pesavetto says it's crucial for donors to understand if there are risks beyond surgery and to have every piece of the puzzle in place before they decide to donate. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.